Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, I was out of town for a week at a show in San Antonio, a two-day show in San Antonio, um, where uh, it was a professional amateur show put on by Rick Nunez, the famed trainer from San Antonio, now promoter. Um, but it's good to be back. We got a great show today. We'll be back two shows a day. We'll be doing two shows a day moving forward. Um, the first show we're going to get into Jaron Boots, Enos phenomenal performance uh, Saturday night, um, and then we're going to get into that, and then um, we're going to talk about the 147-pound division as a whole, because it is back. The next next the next the era of great welterweights is already upon us, and uh, the 147-pound division is, is in great shape. We're getting into all that, but first, uh, please like and subscribe, share in all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, like and subscribe, share. I'm also going to put a link to Taka now, T-A-C-A, uh, the Autism Community in Action. Uh, it's, a, it's a great charity that's near and dear to our heart. If you could, please uh, share it. If possible, subscribe. It's something that is um, near and dear to our heart, the 3D Boxing uh, portion of our, um, of all our earnings go to 3D Boxing. Go, go to uh, autism, the, the Autism Community, Taka. Um, so if you guys can. Please uh, share, and if possible, donate. Uh, but let's get into today's show. Jaron Boach Enos. Man, was that some performance. Um, that was absolutely phenomenal. That was, you know, he had to do something impressive uh, in the wake of Virgil Ortiz, what Virgil Ortiz just did. Um, and he did. You know, Virgil Ortiz has that incredible performance against Hooker. He's calling out Crawford now, and people want to see that fight. Enos had a better opponent, arguably, right? He had a better win at welterweight. I, you know, both guys briefly held the hundred. Both Lipinets and Hooker both held the hundred forty pound belt. Um, you know, a, a comparable opponent, let's say, to what Ortiz faced. Let's say that, um, and he needed to make a statement because look, let's be real. Boots and Verge are going to be connected and talked about in the same sentence. For years to come. Um, and Boots Enos put on an absolute clinic. An absolute display. Uh, one of the best performances of the year. I mean, just absolutely complete beatdown of a guy who is really good. You know, I was talking to some boxing heads in San Antonio about the fight. And they were saying, yeah, Boots is going to win. Boots is going to knock him out. I'm like, look. I, Boots should win. All right? Because he's more gifted, more skilled than Lipinus. But Lipinus is a good fight, a tough guy. Um, and I said, I wouldn't want to put my prospect in the ring with Lipinus. Um, if I said, if, if Boots dominates him and stops him, I'll be very, very impressed. Well, I'm very, very impressed. Um, that was a heck of a performance and he's on his way. And in addition to that, like I said, we have him and Virgil Ortiz, but also on the same night earlier in the, in the day, and I'm going to call him Nigel Ben Jr. Connor Ben, uh, absolutely destroyed Samuel Vargas in a minute and change. Absolutely blew him out. I mean, just a, an amazing performance. Um, so he's a, the third re reel of that. But there's a, another fourth welterweight, another fourth 147-pounder who everyone starts needs to start keeping their eye on. Jesus Ramos, the nephew, I believe, nephew, cousin, nephew, nephew, I believe, of Abel Ramos. Um, who will be, Abel Ramos will be fighting Omar Figueroa Jr., uh, and Jesus Ramos on that same card on the uh, Andy Ruiz card will be fighting Javier Molina. So a step-up fight for him. Jesus Ramos is another phenomenal prospect. Uh, Mexican-American from Arizona. Big hitting, highly skilled, come forward fighter uh, with excellent skills, sharp punching. Um, so the, 147, the future of the 147-pound division is set. I mean, you still have Spence, Crawford, Danny, Keith, Porter. You still have those guys. Those guys are still there, but they're all in their thirties now, and you know Crawford's probably gonna outgrow the division. Danny's already leaving the division. The rumor has it, um, 
So you, you're going to have this new stable of guys at 147. And boy, are they good. They may be better than the last day. It's, it's gonna, we're going to see over time, right? Um, but we know Virgil Ortiz is phenomenal. We know Booch Enos is phenomenal. Jesus Ramos looks really good. Uh, Connor Ben, a.k.a. Nigel Ben Jr., looks really good. Um, we're going to get to see Ramos again in, in, in a month or so, a couple weeks, on, on May 1st. Um, and, and we got to see Ben last week. Look, it's set. We are, whatever it is, the 147 pound division is just a gift that keeps on giving to the boxing community. Uh, it, it was great. It you know, gave us Mayweather, Cotto, Margarito, Paul Williams. They had all those guys the generation before that. Before that, I had De La Hoya, Trinidad Quarte, Prino Whitaker was there. And now it's got these guys. And, and the 147 pound division is in great shape. I, I, I think it's honestly, I, I think this crop of guys is better than Garcia, Porter, and Thurman. And Spence, right? I, I think Spence is, you know, Crawford came up, you know, from 35 to 40 to 47. Uh, but the other three, uh, Garcia came up from 40. But, I mean, he was a huge 40-pounder. We all knew he was a 47-pounder. Um, but this crop of guys is going to seamlessly and smoothly replace the other 147 pounds. I was like, when those guys are getting up in years um, and they want to go to 54, 147 is set. We are good. Uh, and hopefully they just fight each other. I, I know... We've had troubles in the past, and, and Boots is on Showtime. He's not with PBC. Verge is over at um, Golden Boy, uh, Nigel Ben Jr., a.k.a. Connor Ben. I'm sorry. Connor Ben is with Matchroom. Um, so they're all kind of, and, and Ramos is over at PBC. So how about this? How about we do this? How about we do this? I like this idea. Ramos versus Boots. Verge versus uh, Ben. Virgil Ortiz versus uh, Nigel Ben Jr. And, okay, Connor Ben. And uh, Ramos versus Boots. I like that. I like that idea. And then let's have the winners face off in a small four-man tournament. I like that idea. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, back to, just to close on Boots' performance. I mean, that was absolutely phenomenal. There was not, he, he was so sharp with his punches. The speed, the power, the reflexes, the angles. Everything is so good. The only thing, he was going to the body. He was mixing up head, body. I mean, everything is so good. The only thing I would like to see him do more is jab a little bit more. You know, he was jabbing well in the first round or two, and he kind of went away for it and fell in love with his power. Um, and he's got phenomenal power. And what makes his power even better is how accurate it lands. But I, I think if you want to put him in with Keith Thurman next, you want to put him in with... You know, Sean Porter next. He's gonna have to use his jab because he's got a good stick. It's it's crisp. It's clean. Um, he's gonna have to use it. Uh, but I wouldn't have picked that performance was was a ten. That before and Boots is a ten and Virgil is a ten and Ramos and now and and Connor Ben are probably tens. Right, they're still a step away, but they're really good. Um, but it's one forty seven is in amazing shape right now. Guys, let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, were you impressed as equally as I am with um, Boutinus? Um, or, or, and what do you think uh, of Connor Ben? Uh, and are you as psyched at, at, for one of the 147 pound division as I am? Please let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Follow us on all forms of social media 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Share, share, share everywhere. Hit the bell icon. Hit the little bell and the thumbs up. Smash the like button. Um, uh, remember, uh, yep, I have the, I'm going to put the, uh, the autism community action, T-A-C-A -A, taka, like a, like a female taco, taka, uh, link in the description. It's a great cause. Please share it. If possible, please donate to it. Um, it is March 13th, 2021. Uh, Ivan Calderon, still not in the boxing hall of fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the iron boy in, uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.